Hey College Success, this is part two of your week one assignment video. So under the week one videos, you will already see part one. This is just discussing the discussion forums. So this video is going to pick up and talk about the other assignments that you are still doing for week one. I just thought I would break it up a little bit so it wasn't such a long video. All right, so we've already discussed in the previous video the intro college discussion forum and the chapter one discussion forum. So I'm just going to talk about the Title IX quiz, the digital scavenger hunt, these, this little survey here, the two chapter one assignments and the chapter one quiz. So let's go ahead and hop in. Week one assignments. So for both of these two assignments, they are going to work in a very similar fashion. You're going to click on them. You can see the hyperlink is right there and it's going to open up in its own window. Sometimes you might have to say, okay, launch course. It's going to open up in its own window and it's going to, eventually it might talk. This presentation there we go. is designed it's going to talk to you and you're going to navigate through and answer the questions. So this is about Title IX. So if you wanted to have Title IX information open, you can go to the Materials folder and go ahead and click on the Title IX PowerPoint. And that is going to download into a PowerPoint that is going to go through the information that you're going to need for the Title IX assignment. And that is totally fine with me if you have the PowerPoint kind of up and ready next to the, oh, I have too many things open and going. Um, maybe I closed it when I got out of that. But if you wanted to have the assignment next to the PowerPoint, you are more than welcome to do that. So you can either kind of just scroll through and learn about Title IX, um, or as you're completing the Title IX training and quiz, you could have the PowerPoint kind of, you know, side by side if you want to do a screen type or you could just kind of minimize and, and maximize and go back to it. When you're done on the very last slide, just make sure you hit submit. And then the same is going to be said for, oh, I passed, we passed it, the resources scavenger hunt. You're going to click on that. Let's try it again. Uh, and that's going to do a very similar thing. It's going to pop up and start State, State College, College offers, offers going to talk to you. These resources are easy to find. Information is available. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit and you're going to keep going through and you can definitely click on the different links as it gets to it um, or you can kind of go back and forth as you get to each question. So it's going to ask you where different resources are located on campus. And so you just want to make sure that you can either go to the Stark State homepage and, and type in, you know, testing center, or you can click on the links embedded in the scavenger hunt assignment itself. Again, when you're done with that, the very last slide, you'll hit submit. You'll know that these are done. These are automatically graded assignments in Blackboard. So you'll click on the My Grades and just make sure, you can see there's the Title IX, and then you have your digital scavenger hunt right below it. Just make sure a grade is recorded over there. I would give it a few minutes, but a blue circle means in progress. If that stays there, you, you come back in an hour and you check and it's still there, that means something didn't submit. So these are automatically graded assignments. You want to make sure that that grade has appeared over there in the My Grades area. Okay, so those are two of the assignments so far that are going along with like the introduction area, the Title IX scavenger, or excuse me, Title IX quiz and digital scavenger hunt. From there, the chapter one skills survey, this is not graded. It's just kind of a self-reflection. So you could take it before you look at chapter one material. It's going to ask you, you know, a series of questions. I'm kind of just ranking yourself and you can see there's only four. And then when you're done with the chapter, you can look at it again to see if any of your responses would have changed. It's not graded. Um, it's just one of these things that's kind of like a self-reflection point. Okay, I've already talked about the chapter one discussion in the previous video. So now we're gonna talk about these assignments. This one, chapter one, college and expectations. So for this, there's nothing to submit in terms of a document. You're going to go ahead and click right here. It's going to bring this up again, and you're going to click in the right submission area. And this is where you're going to answer your questions. So depending on what kind of student you are, by that I mean I have some students in this class who are CCP, means you are still high school students taking a college level course, or who are traditional college students. So it kind of depends on where you are. So if you are a current 
high school student, you're just going to answer these questions just normal, like how you would, how far do you want to live from your hometown? Um, these are all talking about like your, your dreams, your goals with colleges. What extracurricular activities are you interested in? What clubs might you want to participate in? Over here on the Stark State homepage, under info for current students, you can go to this link and right here it says student clubs. Right there, a whole list of organizations. So I encourage everyone to check that out regardless because there are some that are content related to your major, some that are just for fun. Okay, so what extracurriculars, you know, sports, um, what size college or university do you want to attend? You know, larger, smaller, and then a list of your top five that you're interested in attending after high school. Now, if you already graduated from high school, you're going to kind of reflect on how did you make the decision to come to Sark State? And was it based on location? Was it based on, you know, extracurricular, extracurriculars? Like now that you're here, um, are there things that are attracting you to get involved or to join? Was the size of Stark State, you know, the student teacher ratio, any of that, was that a factor? And then maybe you had other colleges in mind, you know, did you have top five that you were trying to decide between? Or are you thinking of transferring? So you can kind of think of it in that way. So it just depends on where you are. If you're a current high school student, if you have already graduated high school, you might answer these questions a little differently. You can put all of those answers right here after you click write submission, just type right in there and then hit submit. All right, that's the chapter one assignment on colleges and expectations. This another one right down here, chapter one assignment, differences between high school and college, you're gonna open this up and it's gonna be a PDF. And this is going to be based on chapter one content. So if you haven't spent time in chapter one yet, go back and look through. And some of this you might just know as well. So it's gonna be maybe a little bit of experience, um, what you've experienced as a previous high school student, current college student, as well as what the textbook says. So it's going to give a list of like, here's what goes on in high school, you know, give them frequent tests, um, bonus and extra work are given, talk to a teacher before, you know, and then over here, how is it different in college? You know, and so for some of these, maybe it's not. So you can say, I feel like this is the same, but there's usually a, a twist on most of these, you know, so for instance, in college, you're not typically given, now not, this doesn't cover every single class you're ever going to take, but on average, you're usually given maybe larger exams or um, you know, a couple chapters at a time, or you might not have a lot of extra credit work opportunities given. So you wanna make sure that you just kind of think about what is different about college as it relates to this. So you'll type your answers in here. When you're done, you're going to go up here, download it with your changes, and it's going to bring up, you know, maybe you wanna save it to your desktop, hit save. You're gonna go back into Blackboard, click on the link of the assignment name, Instead of write submission, like last time, you're gonna to go to your browse, your files. There it is, click, hit open, and then hit submit. It's not gonna let me since I'm not a student, but that's how you attach that assignment. All right, and then the very last thing is your chapter one quiz. So chapter one quiz is going to be right here. It's going to be a Word doc, so we're just gonna pull that up. Now, every quiz is going to be just like this, two to five sentences. So it's not just bullets or quick answers. They are two to five complete sentences. And you'll see there are multiple parts to every question. So you wanna make sure you answer all parts of the question. So question one, um, it basically asks, you know, hey, there's motivation and, and adversity going on. What can you do now, right now, to remember your purpose for attending college? So what ways can you sustain motivation, basically? How can you, you know, when you come up across obstacles, how can you stay motivated to keep pushing? Question two talks about transitions in terms of, you know, like high school to college or middle school to high school or, single to married, no kids to kids, it, it, whatever transitions you want to think of. How have you done in the past navigating those kind of transitional periods of your life? Um, did it go well? What could you have done differently? And then how can you use that to successfully transition to college now that you're in college? Question three, if your first few grades are lower than expected, what could you do? And then consider emotional, academic, and intellectual areas of adjustment. That is in our chapter. So if you're not sure what that means, that means you haven't really spent time in the chapter yet. So go back to the PowerPoint, the lecture video, uh, the, the actual text, and just make sure that you hit all three of those areas. Question four kind of connects back to the assignment we just did, you know, the differences between high school and college. Now, how could you evaluate if a student has successfully transitioned to college? What criteria would you use? And then question five talks about the um, just self-awareness. Why do you think it's important to be self-aware and how can you use the course material in this class to develop greater self-awareness? 
All right, so this is another one when you're done, you know, two to five sentences, make sure you save it somewhere, get into Blackboard, same thing, click on the name of the assignment, browse your files, find where you save it and hit open and then submit. All right, so as a quick recap, you are making sure that you do post to your two discussion forums by Wednesday for weekly attendance. I go over the discussion forums in the previous video. By Sunday, you're responding to two classmates in both discussion forums. You're completing the Title IX quiz, the Digital Scavenger Hunt, both Chapter 1 assignments and the Chapter 1 quiz. Because there are so many assignments every week, because it is an eight-week course, I will email you inside Blackboard over here on Course Messages to say, hey, all done with week one. I will do that usually up through like Saturday night, Sunday morning. Um, because the week closes on Sunday, if it's like Sunday afternoon, I may not have a chance to email you before the, the evening closes. But if you get the week done early, you know, Monday through probably early Saturday, odds are you'll get a message from me saying, hey, you're all done, good to go. And then week two will open on Monday morning. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Let me know as you're navigating through this first week and have a great week of the semester.